Good evening everyone and welcome to the 11 of the poetry writing challenge. It's a 90 day challenge and today is day 11. Let me just say the internet connection is cutting in and out so I do hope that I'm able to make it at the end of life uninterrupted. So welcome to everyone and today I'm going to share a bit on happiness and happiness in terms of us being here in Trinidad. Um, incidentally, I was reading about the World Happiness Report and Trinidad and Tobago, well that's a ranking of over of about 156 countries that they rate in terms of happiness. Last year we were 43rd on the list and we moved up to 38 this year, 2017 as being one of um, the happiest countries in the world and more so in the Caribbean region. So, and after reading that article, I read another article on the many things that uh, we are happy about. And uh, I started writing on that today. And if I mention all the points on which we, of the things that make us happy, it would be a very, 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 very long poet poem. So I just mentioned two today and this piece is called What Makes Us Happy? festivity and food. So this is day 11 and it's based on the World Happiness Report. So here it goes. A friendly people who love to have fun are the words used for our national character's description. Also, on the World Happiness Index, we've been given recognition as one of the happiest countries within the Caribbean region. Many would like to know how we've gained that spot, but it can only be attributed to being a byproduct of a rich melting pot. Some det detractors dare say we have a carnival mentality. Too many holidays, too much of festivity. However, surely what drives our engine of productivity are these almost month-to-month -month celebrations of diversity. They ensure that we're not overworked or stressed, keeping us refreshed, vibrant, and appreciative of being so blessed. Our yearly calendar is a printed reminder of the spectrum from which national life builds momentum. National holidays and festivals observed all year round keep us smiling as this is where happiness abounds. Good food definitely equals a good mood. And we've got cuisine to influence anyone's attitude. Through our country's rich history, we've inherited the birthright of mouth-watering recipes that could whet any appetite. When it's time to create a meal, it's done with a sweet hand. And you know it's good when another serving is in demand. Flavorful ingredients combine to give your taste buds pleasure. A feeling you will definitely want to treasure. Those who are challenged to naturally create the sensation may have to rely on the Naparima girls or Wendy Rahamut's instruction. Food definitely influences our state of happiness, and we're confident we've got the best of the best. It has been said, a hungry man is an angry man. So when we recognize in the World Happiness Index, you can understand Trinbago's culinary experience both locals and foreigners have found is a trigger for our smiles, and this is where happiness abounds. So that was a little bit on festivity and food, what makes us happy. You all could look up that uh, World Happiness Report and anything that surrounds it. And not just that, ask yourself, look around you, being a Trinidadian or a Tobagonian, and then really think about 
what makes you happy and there are so many things to be happy about so with that i say have a good evening and i look forward to tomorrow please god alicia cox <laughs> good evening ah michelle good evening as well thanks for joining in and you know you all just really think about what makes you happy there are so many things that i could mention maybe i'll do it in different parts part two part three but uh, this is where i start festivity and food love being a trini oh royal this is excellent stuff uh, uh, thank you and thank you for you know just being a part of it and if it brings value share it so you all have a good evening and bye.